Welcome to the Advaita Decoding Reality podcast and welcome to today's episode where we'll talk about how to communicate with the universe. We will discuss the process of conscious creation in depth and we will understand how we are constantly in communication with the universe. Now let us start with the first segment which is the infinite consciousness. Before we understand conscious creation, we need to understand the teachings of Advaita Vedanta, the teachings of non-dualism. The essential teaching of Advaita Vedanta is that the entire universe is a projection in pure consciousness. And that pure consciousness is absolute. It is infinite and it is abundant. And it is our own true nature. In essence, me, you, and all of us are that infinite consciousness and this universe is also a projection in consciousness there is only one thing there is only one substance and that substance is pure consciousness apart from consciousness there is nothing else although the world seems dualistic and although it seems like there are a lot of elements there are a lot of things apart from us in this world in reality this is not true all objects, all elements are simply the expressions of that pure consciousness. This is what we need to understand. And the nature of this pure consciousness is that it is infinite, it is eternal, it is abundant and it is limitless. And this infinite consciousness is who you are. With that, let us go into segment 2 which is the subtle and the gross. Here what we need to understand is that that pure consciousness has expressed itself in infinite ways through this universe. And that pure consciousness or God is the most subtle and the most powerful. And this universe or physical matter is the most gross and the least subtle and the least powerful. So there is a wide range in which consciousness has expressed itself. And the extreme ends of this expression is matter and pure consciousness. So the pure consciousness which was there before the creation of the universe is the most subtle one. And the universe that we can see all around us which is made of matter is the most gross and the least subtle. This is a range in which consciousness has expressed itself. What we realize here is that Subtle is always more powerful than the gross. We can look at many examples here. When we look at the electricity and the bulb, electricity is obviously more powerful than the bulb. Although the bulb is a physical object, which is matter, which can be easily touched and felt, electricity is the one which powers the bulb. Electricity, although subtle, is more powerful. The body and mind is another example. The mind is obviously more subtle than the body, but yet mind controls the body in so many variety of ways. Here we can look at the example of placebo to understand the power of the mind over the body. So what we need to realize is that subtle is always more powerful than the gross and pure consciousness is the most subtle and it is the most powerful and it is also who we truly are. So in our truest essence, in our being, we are that pure and finite consciousness. We have forgot that. We have identified ourselves with this body and mind and we think that we are this body and mind. But in reality, in truth, we are that pure consciousness, which is infinite and eternal. In segment three, let's talk about the universe says yes. Since we have understood that there is only one reality to this existence and that reality is pure consciousness, all that there is in this universe is that pure consciousness alone. The apparent duality is because of the limitation of the mind. It is because the way our mind is structured. In reality, there is absolute oneness. And since there is only absolute oneness as per the teachings of Upanishads, there is only one in this universe 
and that one is you yourself. You yourself at the deepest level are that infinite pure consciousness. So every intention of yours is the intention of that pure consciousness. Every thought of yours is the thought of that pure consciousness. Now imagine how careful you need to be when thinking different thoughts because whatever you think, whatever you do, whatever you believe, the universe says yes. The God says yes because that is the only thing that exists and whatever the pure consciousness thinks and feels, the universe has to reflect it. The universe has to say yes to it. God has to say yes to it because there is only one reality and that reality is that pure consciousness. Now with this understanding, we need to start being extremely careful about the way we conduct ourselves and the way we think and the way we feel. And we need to consciously inculcate positive thought patterns, positive belief systems, positive self-view and positive worldview in order to consciously create a positive life for ourselves. Next, let us talk about the power of attention. Attention is everything. Wherever your attention goes, the energy flows. Since there is only one substance in this universe and there is one energy in this universe, wherever you put your attention to is being empowered. So all the situations and events and circumstances by themselves are inert. They are powerless. But when you think about them, when you feel strongly about them, you are giving them your attention. And through this, you are empowering them. You are giving life to them. So every desire of yours or every intention of yours is being empowered by that consciousness which is you yourself. That is why take care of your attention. So take control of your attention and consciously direct your attention to the places which deserve your attention and start living your life consciously. Next, let us talk about intention and expectation. Your intentions and your expectations are powerful. I don't want to say that every single one of your thought will get manifested in this world. If that happens, it's actually a curse, not a boon. But every thought and every intention do manifest, at least in the subtle level at first. We eventually get what we expect and what we intend from our lives. So it is very important that we craft a vision for our lives. It is very important that we take some time and design our lives and consciously draw a blueprint for what our life needs to be. Here, we also need to talk about the power of now, the power of the present moment. Whatever happens, it happens in the present moment. Whatever happens, it happens right now. There is no past, there is no future. The Power of Now is a beautiful book by Eka Tolle and you can check it out if you want to go deep into this particular teaching. But for the purpose of this video, what we need to understand is that there is only the present moment. The present moment itself is eternal. And whatever we experience, we experience in the present moment. Past and future are just concepts. What truly exists and what is truly powerful is the present moment. So be conscious of the present moment. What kinds of thoughts are you thinking right now? What kinds of feelings are you feeling right now? What are the belief systems that you are holding within yourself right now? Be conscious of them, detach from them identify them for what they are, recognize your true self as that pure consciousness, come out of the unconscious thought patterns and consciously create your life. If you want to go deeper into these concepts to understand the nature of reality and if you want to consciously create your life the way you truly want to live, then check out our community come learning platform, the Advaita Conscious Society. Hello there. If you wish to understand the true nature of reality and learn about consciousness, 
conscious creation and the teachings of the ancient Vedanta in order to live your life with purpose, achieve fulfillment, and consciously create a life that you truly want to live, then you can join our community come learning platform, the Advaita Conscious Society. For more information, visit Advaita.com. Thank you.